Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss what leads to misleading conclusions from the graphs and we will see how to evaluate published reports and graphs that are based on data. Sometimes graph of a data is misleading and we can draw wrong or invalid conclusions while analyzing graphs or statements of data, we should keep the following things in mind. The sample used for collecting data should be selected randomly. It should be unbiased and it should be of appropriate size. Now, the bar graphs and line graphs are misleading if the vertical axis does not start from zero, the scale is not appropriate, and if the labeling of axis is not done. For example, see this bar graph. This bar graph shows average house price in the year 1998 and in the year 1999. Now here you can see average price in the year 1999 is 82,000 pounds and in the year 1998 it is 80,000 so the difference in the prices is only 2,000 pounds but from this bar graph it seems as if the prices tripled in the year 1999 but actually there is a difference of only 2,000 pounds. Also you can see that the vertical axis does not start from zero. Now let us see the improved version of the above graph. Here you can see the vertical axis starts from zero and the scale is appropriate. Also you can see that there is not much difference in the average house prices in two years. Now, pie charts show the data in percentages and the total of all the sectors of the pie chart should be equal to 100% and the labeling should be done within the sectors of the pie chart. Now, in published reports and a description of the data, we should keep in mind that the analysis of data should not be biased and it should not mislead the people. Now let us see an illustration. Now here, both line graphs show high temperature from Monday to Friday. Which graph could be misleading? Now here, both the graphs represent same data and here the graph on the right is misleading because here the vertical axis is broken and it shows a lot of difference in the temperature between any two days. So, Graph on the left is appropriate display of the data. Now, while evaluating published reports, we should keep in mind the following points regarding the survey and analysis. First is the type of samples used. Second is the appropriateness of data analysis. The next is the appropriateness of inferences and predictions made. Then 
Next is the validity of conclusions made. Now let us see an illustration which will explain us how to evaluate a report. Now a reporter published a report based on the survey for favorite serials. He collected the data and displayed it in a pie chart and published his report. He displayed that 23% like tomatoes, 16% like corn crunch and 6% like crispies. He reported that cereal lovers preferred vetoes to both corn crunch and crispies. Vetoes are also higher in vitamins and minerals and have 40% less sugar. Now let us evaluate his report. First of all we will discuss type of sample used. Now since the reporter is analyzing favorite cereals. So for sample to be unbiased, the reporter must have taken sample of those people who like cereals. He has written serial lovers prefer. So the type of sample is appropriate and is not biased. Now let us see appropriateness of data analysis and prediction. Now the reporter analyzed that the senior lovers preferred vetoes to both crunchies and crispies but only 23% liked vetoes and 16% plus 6% that is 22% like either crunchies or crispies. So it is not correct to say that vetoes are mostly preferred by the serial lovers. He has also written that vetoes are higher in vitamins and minerals and have 40% less sugar. So it does not seem to have any relevance with the preference of cereal. Lastly, we will see the validity of conclusion. Now the conclusion that cereal lovers preferred vetoes is invalid because the data display is misleading. Now we know that in a pie chart the sum of sector percentage should be 100% but here the total is 23% plus 16% plus 6% which is equal to 45%. It means only 45% like vetoes, corn crunch and crispies. Rest 55% may like some other cereal. Thus, the reporter's analysis and his conclusion drawn are absolutely incorrect. Now the proper display would have been this. Now here you can see 55% like some other serial. So in this session we have discussed how to evaluate published reports and graphs that are based on data. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.